Does protein before bed really build more muscle? The truth you haven't heard. Have you ever found yourself lying in bed after a late night workout, wondering whether a quick protein shake before sleep could actually make a difference, or if it's just one of those fitness myths that refuses to die? You've probably heard both sides. Some people swear by it, while others insist your total protein throughout the day is all that matters. But the truth, as it turns out, is far more fascinating. And the latest science has completely flipped the old narrative on its head. Today, we're going deep. We'll uncover how your body transforms during the night, why timing can shift your recovery results dramatically, and what type of protein actually fuels this overnight process most effectively. Stick with me until the end, because by the time you do, you'll not only understand the why, but you'll know exactly how to apply it for better sleep, better recovery, and better muscle growth. And before we start, drop your name and where you're watching from in the comments below. It's always incredible to see how far this community reaches across the world. The Real Story of Nighttime Growth Most people think muscles are built in the gym, but that's only half true. The gym is where you create the stimulus, where you challenge and break down muscle fibers through resistance or tension, but the rebuilding, the actual strengthening and thickening of those fibers, happens later, when your body enters recovery mode. And that recovery mode hits its peak while you're asleep. During deep sleep, the body doesn't just rest, it performs a kind of biological renovation. Your nervous system calms, cortisol drops, and a cascade of anabolic hormones takes over. Growth hormone surges, testosterone rises, cells repair themselves, mitochondria, the tiny energy factories in your muscles, begin their overnight upgrades. So imagine this, your body's construction crew is clocking in to rebuild muscle, but the raw materials, amino acids, aren't available. Without protein circulating in your bloodstream, that recovery crew is essentially standing around with no bricks to build with. And that's where the idea of nighttime protein comes in. If you feed your body right before this rebuilding phase, could you supercharge what it's already designed to do naturally? The evolution of the bedtime protein debate. Let's rewind to how this concept started. For years, sports nutritionists believed that total daily protein intake was the only metric that mattered. Whether you drank your shake at 7 a.m. or 10 p.m., the body, they argued, would process it the same. But athletes and bodybuilders, the people constantly experimenting with recovery, noticed something else. They reported feeling stronger, less sore, and more recovered when they consumed protein right before bed. Science eventually caught up. One of the earliest controlled studies investigating this idea came out in the mid-2010s. Participants who consumed protein before sleep demonstrated greater overnight muscle protein synthesis, meaning their bodies were actively constructing new muscle tissue while they slept. This was the first real clue that when you eat might amplify what you eat. But here's where things got interesting. Not all proteins behave the same way. The Cassain era, slow and steady, wins the night for a long time. Cassain protein was crowned the king of the night. Why? Because it digests slowly. While whey floods your bloodstream within about an hour, Cassain releases amino acids gradually over several hours. The logic was simple. If you're asleep for seven or eight hours, you want something that drips amino acids continuously during that time. And to be fair, that idea made sense. For years, it became the golden rule. Cottage cheese, which naturally contains Cassain, was a bodybuilder's bedtime favorite long before fancy supplements even existed. The idea was that this trickle-feed approach would protect muscles from overnight breakdown, keeping your body in a positive nitrogen balance, meaning you're building, not losing tissue. But here's the twist. Science doesn't stand still, and recent research has challenged that long-held belief. The 2023 shakeup, when Wei beat Cassain. In 2023, a study that quietly changed the conversation emerged. Researchers wanted to know if the fast-digesting nature of whey protein might actually outperform casein. Even at night, they gathered a group of physically active men and gave them different types of protein two hours before bed, right after an hour of intense cycling. Some received whey, others casein, and a few got a placebo. The goal? To see how their bodies responded while they slept. The results stunned everyone. Whey protein, Yes, the same fast protein once considered less suitable for bedtime, boosted muscle protein synthesis significantly more than casein. It wasn't just building the structural muscle fibers responsible for strength and hypertrophy, it was also fueling mitochondrial development, which powers endurance. In fact, 
way increased key muscle building activity by roughly 35%, compared to just 18% for casein. So, what happened? How could a fast protein outperform a slow one, especially when you're asleep? The answer lies in the chemistry of amino acids, specifically one superstar molecule called leucine. Leucine. The muscle switch. Leucine isn't just another amino acid, it's the spark plug that ignites muscle growth. When leucine enters the bloodstream, it activates a pathway in your cells called mTOR, short for mechanistic target of rapamycin. Think of mTOR as your body's internal green light for muscle construction. When it's triggered, protein synthesis ramps up. Whey protein naturally contains more leucine than casein, roughly 10 to 12% compared to 8%. That difference might seem small on paper, but in biological terms, it's massive. It's like flipping a switch with more voltage. The signal is stronger, faster, and longer lasting. So while casein may linger longer in your system, Whey's superior leucine content may actually create a more powerful initial anabolic response, which can then sustain itself through the night. In other words, it's not just about how long a protein lasts in your gut, it's about how potently it triggers muscle building from the start. But what about sleep? Now, a lot of people hesitate to eat before bed because they've heard it might interfere with sleep. So let's clear that up. Research consistently shows that protein before bed doesn't harm sleep quality. In fact, certain amino acids might even enhance it. Tryptophan, for example, found in many protein sources, is the same amino acid your body uses to create serotonin and melatonin, the very hormones that regulate sleep cycles. Plus, protein causes minimal changes in blood sugar and insulin, unlike carbs, which can create energy spikes and crashes that keep you restless. The key is to avoid overloading your digestive system. A shake, yogurt, or small portion is ideal, not a full meal right before lights out. So, Unless you have a sensitive stomach or specific digestive issues, nighttime protein isn't just safe. It may actually help you rest deeper while fueling your recovery. The bigger picture, it's not just for athletes. Now you might be thinking, I'm not training for a competition, do I really need to worry about protein timing? The answer is yes, especially if you're over 40. As we age, something called anabolic resistance begins to creep in. This means your muscles become less responsive to the same amount of protein that once built them easily. The body's ability to synthesize new muscle declines, not because you're not training hard, but because the signal that says build becomes weaker. That's why older adults benefit tremendously from evenly distributed protein throughout the day, and especially before bed, when the natural recovery hormones are peaking. Studies show that older individuals who consume protein before sleep experience significantly better muscle retention, improved recovery from exercise, and even greater strength gains over time. And beyond muscles, there's more good news. Nighttime protein can stabilize blood sugar, improve immune defense, and reduce late-night cravings that often derail diet goals. So, this isn't just about bodybuilders, it's a longevity strategy. How to do it, right? Practical application. So how can you apply all this research without overcomplicating your routine? Let's break it down into a few easy steps. 1. Timing. The sweet spot is roughly 30 minutes to 2 hours before bed. That gives your digestive system enough time to handle the protein comfortably before sleep begins. If you train in the evening, this doubles as your post-workout shake perfectly timed for both recovery and overnight synthesis. 2. The ideal dose. You don't need an excessive amount. Most research shows 25 to 35 grams of high-quality protein is sufficient. More than that won't necessarily create a greater response unless you're a large athlete or bodybuilder. 3. Best types of protein. Here's where you have options. Weigh isolate or concentrate for the most potent leucine hit. Casein if you prefer slower digestion and a steady amino acid release. Blends of both, which combine waste fast trigger with casein steady flow, may give you the best of both worlds. If you prefer real food, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, or milk provide both whey and casein naturally. Hard-boiled eggs are a great alternative for those avoiding dairy. For plant-based eaters, pea protein and soy protein are top choices, with soy offering one of the highest leucine contents among plants. You can also combine plant proteins, like pea and rice, to achieve a more complete amino acid profile. 4. Avoiding common mistakes. Don't overload on carbs or fat right before bed. Keep it light and protein-focused. Avoid protein bars loaded with sugar alcohols which can cause bloating. And remember, this isn't a substitute for total daily nutrition. 
It's an enhancer. Think of bedtime protein as a strategic bonus meal that supports your body when it's naturally primed to recover. Beyond the gym, the other benefits. What's fascinating is that the benefits go beyond muscle. Protein intake before bed has been linked to reduced next day soreness due to faster tissue repair, improved immune resilience since antibodies and immune cells depend heavily on amino acid, better endurance as muscle mitochondria recover more efficiently overnight, reduced nighttime snacking since protein increases satiety and stabilizes blood sugar. Does it cause weight gain? Let's address the elephant in the room. Many worry that eating before bed automatically leads to fat gain, but that's not how metabolism works. Weight gain depends on your total calorie balance over time, not the time of day you eat. Protein in particular is thermogenic, meaning your body burns more calories digesting it compared to fats or carbs. In fact, adding a protein shake before bed can help preserve lean muscle while you're cutting calories, preventing the dreaded skinny fat look that often comes with dieting. Who should use this strategy? This approach can benefit nearly everyone but some people will gain even more from it. 1. Seniors, to counteract muscle loss from aging. 2. Athletes, to maximize repair and growth from intense training. 3. People on calorie-restricted diets, to maintain lean mass. 4. Early morning exercisers, since muscles still grow during sleep, regardless of training time. 5. Anyone struggling to meet daily protein targets, since it's an easy way to close the gap. The takeaway, science has moved on. A decade ago, if you asked whether protein before bed was necessary, the answer might have been, not really. But science evolves, and now we know that the timing of protein intake can meaningfully influence how your body rebuilds and adapts. Sleep isn't just recovery. It's the most anabolic phase of your day. By providing your body with amino acids during this period, you're aligning your nutrition with your natural biology. And the results can compound over time. And if you're still wondering which one to choose, whey protein, with its higher leucine content and faster trigger, currently holds the scientific edge. But the best choice is the one that fits your digestion, routine, and goals. Consistency always beats perfection. Your body is an incredible machine, one that works tirelessly while you rest. You can either let it rebuild using scraps, or you can supply it with everything it needs to come back stronger. So, the next time you reach for that evening shake, remember, you're not just drinking protein, you're fueling tomorrow's performance, today's recovery, and next month's progress. And now, I'll leave you with a question. Do you take protein before bed? If so, which type has worked best for you? Share your answer in the comments. Your insight might just help someone else reach their next breakthrough.